Libya's Operation Odyssey Dawn is the perfect proving ground for the Navy's new toy. In March of 2011, it was decided that the U.S. was going to participate with coalition forces to enforce a no-fly zone over Libya. We know that they're relying on us to blank the enemy radars. And if they get a missile shot at them, it could be very quick, and then they'll be killed. For the electronic warfare officers, the call comes without warning. The decision to make that happen was very quick. So we had about 24 hours to get there. March 18th, 2011, Commander Matsko and his wingman are patrolling the Libyan coastline when their radio starts to buzz. We got the call that there was an enemy surface-to-air missile site, or SAM, that was potentially active. The location was a threat to our bomb droppers and to our fighters. So we got coordinates for it, and we started heading that way. The Growler's first challenge is to identify the radar's signal. Exactly how it does that is top secret. The Growler can do a lot of amazing things, many of which we can't even talk about. What we can say is that the Growler sees everything on the electronic spectrum. But it relies on the electronic warfare officer to sort through the noise. Matsko's wingman locates the radar signal and starts to jam it. Beside him, Matsko prepares his harm missile and fires. When you shoot off a harm, first thing you feel is a shudder in the aircraft, and it flies off incredibly fast, and you see a smoke trail that uh, goes off into the distance, and then the smoke trail stops. When the smoke trail stops, so does the enemy radar's signal. With the threat destroyed, coalition forces move in and strike the ammunition dump. Once it was apparent that uh, the SAM site was destroyed, these guys could go back to their mission. Detection, disruption, destruction. It's all in a day's work for an electronic warfare officer.